Hello readers, today we're on lesson 99 in our cheetah textbook. So go ahead and find it. Pause your device if you need some time getting there. Okay, now that you're on lesson 99, let's get started. Let's start with our tricky words in column one. Number one says anxious. What word? Anxious. Anxious means like kind of worried. Um, anxious. Uh, let's spell anxious. Here we go. Get ready. A N X I O U S. Anxious. Number two is a name. Number two says Angela. What name? Angela. Word three says curious. What word? Word four says insist. What word? Word five says demand. What word? Good. Let's read those words the fast way. Word one, what word? Word two, what word? Word three, what word? Word four, what word? Word five, what word? Excellent. Find column two. Column two has two parts. The first part in each word is underlined. Some of the words have more than two parts. But the first part of the word is underlined. Word one, what's the underlined part? Aim, what's the whole word? Aimlessly. Word two, the first part is land. The whole word is lantern. What word? Word three, the underlined part is arrange. The whole word is arrangements. What word? Word four, the underlined part is sir. What word? The whole word is surprise. Word five, the underlined part is finish. What word? The whole word is finisher. Word six is congratulate. What word? What's the whole word? Congratulated. Good, let's read those words the fast way. Word one, what word? Word two, what word? Word three, what word? Word four, what word? Word five, what word? Word six, what word? Excellent. Now we are on column three. Number one says victory. What word? Victory. Another word for win is victory. If you have a win over a team, you have a victory over a team. What's another way of saying our team had three wins this year? Our team had three victories this year. Very good. Word two says award. What word? Award. An award is something you receive for doing something special. If you do well in math, you receive an award. If you win a race, you receive an award. What's the word? Award. Word three says hero. What word? Word four says buddies. What word? Word six says miserable. What word? Word six says fierce. What word? Good. Let's read these words the fast way. Word one, what word? Word two, what word? Word three, what word? Word four, what word? Word five, what word? Word six, what word? Very good. Everyone, find part B in your textbook. The error limit for this group reading is 12 errors, so make sure that you're listening closely to Mrs. Halverson. See if she makes any. Here we go. Everybody touch the title. Everybody, what's the title? End of the race. So now that we know the title, what do you think is going to happen in today's story? Maybe. Let's read and find out. End of the race. Chad's team was on the trail again. Siri Carlson was about a half mile ahead of Chad. Come on, you guys, Chad said to his team. If you want some company, we have to go faster than this. Mush, you sled dogs. Mush. Chad pedaled with one foot to help make the sl sled go faster. The team had only 14 dogs on it, but they pulled hard. And before long, they caught up to Siri's team. Chad hold her, told her what had happened and how the dogs were able to pull the sled out of the water. She said, you must have strong wheel dogs. 
I do, Chad said, although I don't think Chugger will be pulling sleds from now on. Chad and Siri reached checkpoint 19 about an hour later. They stayed there for eight hours. Chad made arrangements for a plane to take Chugger back to Anchorage. He changed the gang line so that there was one dog in front of Butch and Denali. That dog was Buck. How many dogs are on the gang line now? 15, that's right. One dog did not have a partner. What dog was that? Buck, that's right. Let's keep reading. After eight hours of resting, Chad and his team went on the trail again. The weather was cold, but the air was clear and the dogs wanted to run. They made good time. So did Siri's team. Chad was in front of them for most of the trip to Nome. Chad saw the first signs of the town just after the sun had set the next day. Chad could hardly believe that he had been on the trail for 11 days. In some ways, it didn't seem that long. In other ways, it seemed as if he had been on the Iditarod Trail for as long as he could remember. Siri finished ahead of Chad in the same order they had started. She finished in 34th place. He finished in 35th place. He gave her a big hug. You're a good musher, he said. Thank you, she said. It was a wonderful experience, and I hate to see it end. The words seemed strange. Chet thought how cruel, how the cruel winds, the fierce weather, and the dangerous make your day miserable. But when you cross that finish line, you know that you and your dogs worked as a team that battled the cold, the snow, the winds, and you won. You went over 1,100 miles in only 11 days. The victory was even sweeter to Chad when the race officials told him that the weather for this race had been worse than it had been since 1985. Wow. So did Chad reach his goal? Who can remind us what was Chad's goal? He had to finish the race. So did he finish? Did he meet his goal? He did, yeah. Let's keep reading. The plane from Nome landed in Anchorage the next day. At about the same time, the last finisher of the Iditarod was crossing the finish line. Every year, the last place team receives the Red Lantern Award. This year, a red, the Red Lantern winner finished in 12 days, four hours. Chad had taken two showers since finishing the race, and he had slept until after eight in the morning. His clothes were clean, but he hadn't shaved. The plane was met by a cheering crowd, friends and relatives of the mushers who were flying back with Chad. Susie was there. The day before, she had gone to the airport to pick up Chugger. The vet had told her that there wasn't much she could do to fix Chugger's hip that her hip would probably be okay as long as she didn't try to pull sleds or do heavy work. So Chugger's kind of retiring from sled dog racing. The first thing Susie did was find Denali and give him a whole lot of hugs and kisses. She whispered to him, You're a hero. I knew you would be wonderful. How did Chad get to know... Sorry. How did Chad get to Anchorage from No? That's right, he took an airplane. Was he the only musher on the plane? No. Who met Chad at the airport? Susie. What had she done the day before? She picked up Chucker, yeah. What did the vet say about Chucker? Yeah, that her hip would be fine as long as she stopped pulling sled dogs, right? And kind of took it easy. All right, let's keep reading. Of course, after Chad loaded his team into his truck, Susie had lots of questions. First, she asked whether Chad had received all her mail and read it. He told her that he had received all of it and had read all of it. Then, most of Susie's questions were about Denali. She was most interested in what Denali did when the sled broke through the crust and fell into the water. Was he the one who helped most to pull you out? Well, you could probably say that, Chad replied. He didn't slip backwards, and when I told the dogs to pull, he pulled hard. He was a hero, wasn't he? She said. 
Well, I guess you could say that, Chad replied. I was proud of all the dogs, and Denali certainly did his share, maybe even more than his share. He did it as well as the older dogs, didn't he? Yes, he did, Chad said. And if it's all right with you, I'll want him to be a regular wheel dog in for next year's race. Well, sure, she said. I wouldn't want you to go out there without him. You need Denali. So even before everybody had congratulated Chad on finishing the race, he was making plans about next year's race. Part of the plans included working with Siri Carlson. She planned to do summer training with Chad and his team. As Susie got the idea that Chad and Siri seemed to like each other more than they would if they were just mushing buddies. She was right. Two years later, Chad and Siri got married, and Denali ran in six more edited rods. The musher for the first five races was Chad. The musher for the sixth race was Susie. Cool. So Susie decided that she wanted to be a musher in the Iditarod too, and she used Denali because he's such a good wheel dog. Okay. What did Chad tell Susie he wanted to do with Denali? That's right. Make him a regular wheel dog in next year's race. Who did plan Chad plan to practice with next summer? Siri. What did Siri and Chad do later on? They got married. How many more Iditarods did Denali run in? Six more, so seven total. Wow. Who was the musher for the last race? Susie. All right, scholars, let's take a look at our homework.